another week, another set of athletes we want to give a little bit of spotlight to that might not have been getting that recognition that is truly deserved. First off, we have to talk about Monet Nichols. Now she competes for Texas Tech and just this past weekend down at the Big 12 Championships, in that women's long jump, she managed to jump 6.97 meters with only a trailing wind of plus one meters per second. That is a world leading performance in that women's long jump, a huge personal best for her, but of course, that's going to get her some, you know, well-deserved recognition because it's a worldling performance, but it's what she's been doing leading up to this performance that really should have been giving her some more spotlight. Now, of course, she got second place at the NCAA Indoor Championships in a great battle with Jasmine Moore in that women's long jump, but look at her performances from this outdoor season alone and the marks that she has been able to jump. She has one windy jump of 6.89 meters, then all legal jumps of 6.86, 6.80, 6.74, and 6.72 meters. And that 6.74 was jumped into a negative 1.5 meter per second headwind. In addition, that 6.89 meter jump won her the competition at the Mount Sac Relays against a very high quality field, which included the likes of Tara Davis and Jasmine Todd. So we're talking about a great field that she was able to beat out there. This is a huge performance and shows that she is ready to be on the cusp of breaking that seven meter barrier. And once we get there, of course the women's long jump is extremely stacked, but if you're hitting seven meters, you are in metal contention. So. Definitely look out for Nichols to not only potentially win the NCAAs, she might go on to make the US team and she might go on to potentially medal at the World Championships this year. Next up, we have to talk about Udodi Onwuzurike. He competes for Nigeria and Stanford. And again, at these championships, at the Pac-12 championships, this time in Eugene, Oregon, in the 100 meters, he managed to get second place running 10.17 seconds, finishing just behind Makai Williams of Oregon. In the 200 meters though, which is probably more significant, he managed to run 20.09 seconds, again, finishing just behind Makai Williams. What makes these performances significant though, is he is just 19 years old. He just turned 19 years old in January. So he's still a U20 athlete and he is extremely young. Now, back in April in the 100 meters, he also ran 10.07 seconds, which also broke the Stanford school record in the 100 meter dash. But again, let's go back to that 200 meters. That 20.09 seconds in the 200, I think is a high quality performance for a couple reasons. Now, first off, huge personal best, really drops him down on the cusp of breaking that 20 second barrier. But even better, that makes him equal number five all time on the U20 list for the 200 meters. Guess who that equals him with? Noah Lyles. Remember Noah Lyles, 2016 Olympic trials. He finished fourth place, just missing out on the team and ran that 20.09 seconds. This also only puts him behind a couple guys. Like I said, equal with Noah Lyles, just behind Knighton, Bolt, Guliev, and Daniel. So we're talking about some high quality names that Onzurike is just behind in that 200 meters. Of course, Knighton, he's only 18 years old. He ran that 19.49 seconds. He's far and away ahead of the rest of the field. But Onzurike, with this 200 meter time, with this 100 meter time, we're talking about someone who could potentially win NCR Blaze, might be a spoiler there. And he's Nigerian. Again, he's very likely going to be at the World Championships along with someone like Divine Uduru for Nigeria. So keep a lookout for Onzurike. We're going to see a lot more of these two athletes, I think, over the next couple weeks and as the season progresses. But go in the comments below. Let me know any other athletes from this past week or from the past season who we should be looking out for in those sprints, jumps, and hurdles. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. We'll be back again next time. Thanks.